BGB 11417 is a oral selective BCL2 inhibitor. So it's a similar class of um, drug to venetoclax and it has a similar mechanism of action. The difference between BGB 11417 and venetoclax uh, is um, that the uh, mole for, molar for molar potency is uh, substantially higher for 11417, about, uh, about tenfold over venetoclax. And uh, we're certainly expecting that the uh, efficacy will be in line with that. So in this poster, we are uh, performing an ongoing uh, phase one uh, phase, phase one uh, dose escalation study of um, this agent, both as monotherapy and in combination with uh, zanabrutinib, which is Beijing's uh, BTK inhibitor, an oral covalent uh, BTK inhibitor. There are uh, dose cohorts, dosing cohorts in the common B cell malignancies, including non Hodgkin lymphoma. Um, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and we've recently opened cohorts of Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia and mantle cell lymphoma. Um, and uh, for CLL, at least at this point, we're doing combinations with both uh, 11417 and zanubrutinib. So the um, this data, these data again were presented at EHA, and at that stage we had encouraging safety profile with uh, not a great deal of uh, toxicity seen. And the, the drug seems to be pretty nice to use, and it is um, certainly effective in patients with CLL. We have um, fewer uh, responses among the non-Hodgkin lymphoma subtypes, but most of the patients with NHL treated on the study have had diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, and we've had some patients with stable disease pushing out to a year or so, but no, no, and, and a few patients deriving benefit in terms of reduction in their tumour burden, but few objective responses. But um, in um, the venetoclax experience, the um, objective response rate in DLBCL was relatively low anyway, about 18%. So we're not expecting um, to see a huge amount of activity. I think the more interesting thing about this drug is it is um, looking very nice in combination with zanabrutinib and that um, uh, a cohort in patients with previously treatment-naive CLL has just opened up and we're pretty excited about that. Um, we are also, as I, as I mentioned, planning to test the combination in a number of other B-cell malignancy subtypes. So um, always uh, good to see emerging data for a uh, new BCL2 inhibitor. The last point to make on this is that um, tumor lysis syndrome is uh, a class-specific toxicity of BCL2 inhibitors, which we have not seen using the uh, dose escalation strategy employed so far. Um, I think maybe one patient had uh, laboratory TLS, but um, no clinical TLS. And uh, we are moving to uh, outpatient management for these uh, patients as the study progresses, which is clearly a very uh, good uh, logistic thing for, uh, for, for, for doctors and for patients that hospitalization is not required to get these patients with high tumor burden onto the drug.